Disneyland Paris is a breathtaking resort visited by millions of guests every year. But Disneyland Paris does offer some unique experiences that are actually better than Walt Disney World in some cases. Get ready for our thrilling ride as we uncover some hidden gems and unique experiences at Disneyland Paris that outshine the vacation kingdom of the world. One thing most Disney fans ignore is public transportation. And Disneyland Paris does a very good job of that. Why? Well, because the train station was designed to be integrated with the rest of the resort. This results in a seamless arrival experience, whether you are coming from the airport or from Paris. Walt well, Disney World is currently lacking in this regard. Most visitors use a car at this vacation kingdom. This results in many tourists spending hundreds of dollars on a rental car. But Disneyland Paris's railroad station is also unique in the fact it has high-speed connections, meaning you can arrive there from different European cities. The design and architecture of the station in itself is quite nice, with a postmodern interpretation of a castle and the large arches outside. The interior is also something quite special, as it plays with light basically. There's one problem though, and that is space, specifically after Brexit. Stations now require more security checkpoints, especially if you are going to the United Kingdom, and this station wasn't built with that in mind. However, another thing Disneyland Paris outshines Walt Disney World is in the layout of the resort hotels. The designers wanted to get away from the suburban-esque design of Walt Disney World where hotels are spread out, instead opting for a more walkable experience. At Disneyland Paris, all but one hotel are accessible via foot. The hotels are placed in this beautiful lake, allowing for beautiful points of view. The Cheyenne and Santa Fe are located near this creek, giving a sense of proximity to nature. Here at Disneyland Paris you can also see all hotels in one day, except David Crockett because it's located outside the main resort and requires a car. But here at Disneyland Paris the hotels communicate with each other, as they all have an American theme. Whether it's the beautiful Newport Bay Club that captures the essence of New England architecture or the beautiful Sequoia Lodge, reminiscent of Frank Lloyd Wright's designs. These hotels are spectacular in their own right. So here at Disneyland Paris, it's not just about how the hotels look, it's also about how they connect with the rest of the resort. One thing you notice about one particular hotel, it's located at the entrance of the park, the Disneyland Hotel. As so, the design of Park Disneyland is outstanding in itself. Here, Imagineers were able to create an incredible castle park. Let's take a look at Le Chateau de la Belle Bois Dormant. It offers a fantastic design. Imagineers created a landscape here with square trees that relate to all Disney's film. Imagineers also added to the program of the castle by offering a detailed walkthrough and a dragon. The incredible design continues when you enter Fantasyland, with blue colored water features and greenery. Each section of Fantasyland feels like its own little kingdom, with designs from different European countries. The train station is beautiful in itself, it feels like you are transported into the English countryside. Pizzeria Bella Notte, while offering mediocre pizza, creates a beautiful little Italian town, but the highlight of DLP's design is Frontierland. Here guests are transported into the fictional town of Thunder Mesa. This small town features restaurants and shops. One side sits a dilapidated old manor where once lived Harry Ravenswood and his daughter. Who knows what secrets lie inside? The main attraction and focal point of Frontierland is Big Thunder Mountain. Here Big Thunder Mountain is not just another ride, it is the star of the show. Located in the center of an island in the middle of Frontierland, Big Thunder Mountain allows for beautiful vistas from different sections of the land. But that's not all, as the ride features a high thrill finale where guests must return to the station. Big Thunder Mountain at Disneyland Paris is truly unique and requires a visit. But Frontierland is more than that. It features this large wilderness area with a barn-themed restaurant. Most guests don't come here, so this is a quiet area. If you want to learn more about the incredible design of Disneyland Paris, then check out my video on the subject. Right next to Frontierland Station sits the Frontierland Stage, which highlights another aspect that Disneyland Paris outshines Walt Disney World. 
entertainment. Disneyland Paris offers incredible shows. Lion King, Ravens of the Pride Land, or Mickey et le Magician. Disneyland Paris excels at entertainment, with captivating shows and immersive illusions. One such example is Together, a Pixar musical adventure. This show highlights different Pixar movies, all with incredible music and great practical effects. Here guests will feel transported into the story. But Disneyland Paris also has a beautiful drone show, like the Main Street Electrical Sky Parade, which blends nostalgia and the latest in drone technology. So as you can see, shows at Disneyland Paris are worth your time. But entertainment at this resort can also be seasonal. Disneyland Paris hosts unique seasonal events like the Halloween and Christmas parties, which feature exclusive entertainment and decoration. These events add an extra layer of magic to your visit. The park is usually decorated for this event. We visit on the 30th anniversary, which offered some exceptional shows and great decorations. However, we also visit near Halloween, so we could see some fun ghost statues Disneyland Paris added. These events add to the magic of the park. Now, Walt Disney World is a worldwide destination. This means there are a lot of people that want to visit the resort. So Disney came up with a confusing solution for people to get in line quicker. Disney Genie Plus. This is a skip the line system that most guests have a hard time understanding. Disney Genie Plus is a service where guests can book attractions per park per person or for the entire resort, but you don't get access to all rides immediately. Instead, you have to reserve a specific time to go on selected rides. This creates a confusing system where most guests have no idea what they are doing. But not all rides are included in this service. If you want to ride rides like Rise of the Resistance, well, you have to get an individual lightning lane, which is not part of Disney Genie Plus. However, at Disneyland Paris, it's much more simplified. There is Disney Premier Access Ultimate that allows you to ride all rides except Orbital and join whenever you want. This is quite expensive, however. So if you want to pay just to ride one ride, let's say Big Thunder Mountain, well, just buy it individually with Disney Premier Access 1. This system is easy to understand and mostly stress-free. However, most of the times at Disneyland Paris you won't need to buy Premier Access. This is because the so-called low season is still a thing at Disneyland Paris. The first two hours of park opening are quite light and you can get most stuff done. Additionally, with Space Mountain Single Rider line, you won't be waiting long. The only attraction that gets a long line is usually Big Thunder Mountain and also Peter Pan's flight. However, the story is different at Walt Disney Studios Park because that park doesn't have a lot of attractions. So the queues here tend to be quite crazy. Ratatouille has a single rider line and Avengers Flight Force doesn't usually get long lines. But Crush's Coaster is a nightmare. In fact, when I first went to ride it, it broke down. So I can't claim to have done a successful job there, neither. Even with all this trouble, we still find their skip the line system to be quite good. Speaking of crowds, Disneyland Paris has far lighter crowds sometimes, the park can even feel empty. Of course, this is not year round, but you can get most attractions done in two days for the two parks. Compared to Walt Disney World, this is a dream. Extended park hours for hotel guests feel like what extra magic hours used to be at Walt Disney World. When we went there, we were able to get most popular rides done, like Peter Pan and Hyperspace Mountain. Usually at Walt Disney World's extra magic hours, you can only get one ride done. Another thing I don't see a lot of fans talking about is how Disneyland Paris feels like its own city. That's because of Val de Hope, a community filled with classical architecture that was built after Disneyland Paris opened. The design of this town was envisioned to capture the essence of traditional French and British neighborhoods with blocks and walkable streets. This vibrant community features housing and a giant mall, and even hotels. As so, third-party hotels at Disneyland Paris are actually pretty close to the resort. So if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of the resort, you can hop on over to Val de Hop and stroll around its beautiful streets or find more affordable dining options. Disneyland Paris offers unique attractions, charming themed areas, incredible entertainment, great design and distinct 
cultural experiences that sets itself apart from Walt Disney World. So Disneyland Paris has been entertaining guests since 1992 and we're excited to see new experiences and attractions coming to the resort really soon. If you also want to see what else is coming to the resort, well, check out this video on your screen right now.